Hi everyone and welcome to Unit Review. We're your hosts, Jack. And Dan. Today we're going to be looking at a, a bit of a sad story. A bit of a sad one. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's the Canoptic Spiders. Yeah, um, yeah, uh, they are... Uh, Fell off the radar. Of, they, yeah. Which is a shame. Big uh, shame. We're not going to, you know, we're not the kind of people that do a video like, this is trash. But yeah, this is the worst thing yeah. <laughs> <laughs> since sliced bread. Having said that, this is trash. <laughs> Um, but yes, we're going to try and yes. explain in an, in a, in an evidence-based way yeah, why. Yeah, we're going to prove it. We're going to prove it. Bring the data. Bring yeah, the data. Bring the data. Yeah. It. Um, but yes, it's a, it's a, it used to be a great unit. Let's get into it because there's so much to talk about. But okay. Dan, start off stat block. Yeah, stat block uh, movement is five. Um, we'll <laughs> talk about that later. Toughness seven is okay. Yeah. It's got a three-up save, six yeah. wounds. It's leadership eight, and it's got an OC of two. Yes. So, you know. No, it's, it's, okay. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's, it's okay. You know, without comparing it to anything else, yeah. as of now, it's all right. Yeah. Um, but War Gear, so um, it's got obviously the ranged ability, so mm. it has the Particle Beamer. This is an 18-inch range, uh, D6 attacks, um, so quite swing on that part. Yeah. Um, three plus to hit, strength six, zero AP, one damage. It also has the Blast keyword and Devastating Wounds. So, you know what? It's okay, but it... It's, I think that's it. it. It's just okay, isn't it? It's too swingy. It's super swingy, yeah. No AP. Yeah. Devastating Wounds is good, but it's only one wound. Yeah. Yeah, it's not that, no. not that great. Not that great. Yeah, it's a weird one to have dev wounds, I'll yeah. be honest. Um, the Mellow Weapon profile gets a little bit better. So mm. this is the... Um, the uh, Oh, God, I can't see the word. Um, I think it's autom Automaton Claws. Automaton Claws. Let's yeah. go that one down. I like that one. Yeah. <laughs> um, so um, it has five attacks, hitting on fours, strength eight, minus two AP and two damage. So, see, you know... That's good. It's not bad. It's not yeah. bad. It's just a shame that it's fours to hit. Yeah, a lot of the Canoptic stuff is, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I think Wraiths are as well. So it's... Um, and there are ways around that we can talk about in a little yeah, bit. It's but it's... Can. Yeah, if, if, you can, if you can land some blows, you're going to do some damage yeah yeah, yeah. very yeah. true very true i think there are some uh, walk your options as well where you can replace some of the well the things around it, but interestingly this one is basically what where one of those ones where gw's just gone you can have everything yeah so yeah, in yeah. ninth edition Points, yeah, yeah you don't need those in ninth edition <laughs> yeah, the, yeah it was different wasn't it you had to mm. pick and choose what you could what you could have or, yes uh, but this one all all uh, well say all of me um any any model can have all of the all of the gear yeah. and no idea. Um, so just, they, yeah. So, so they, I, just well, why wouldn't you yeah. just put it on the day sheet? Just say, oh, this unit is equipped with all of these. Yeah. What, so wild. they can have. I think it's partly to do with how people built them in ninth for this reason. So mm. you might have built them without the fabricator claw array or whatever, yeah. or without the particle beamers because I don't think particle beamers are very good in ninth. <laughs> no. I, don't, I think no. I've only got one with um, particle beamers on. If you're mm. looking down here, none of yours have. Hey, hey, these are tournament legal. Oh, no, they these are, are tournament Dan, legal. Please, let me use them. <laughs> judge, judge. <laughs> but yes, yeah. Uh, so yeah, so a few things about the gloom prism. Yeah. The, um, one fabricator claw array. Yes. Two particle beamers. So uh, so technically, actually, it's, it's 2D6. 2D6, yes. So it's on the, on the I mean, profile. Yes, it, it does make it a little bit better, but it's still, like you said, it's AP zero damage. It's not. It's just not awesome. It's just yeah. probably not going to get free. Roll. I'll most likely roll two, two ones. <laughs> you on those, know so, no sixes. And so, whenever a weapon is purely like D six, the ones are going to come out for a oh, number of does, hits, aren't they? It yeah. does. It does. And, um, but yeah, uh, beyond that, we've got some. Um, well, we talk about those uh, war gear options. Yes. Uh, if you're going to take them all, and there's a reason why you should. So the fabricator yeah. claw array uh, gives an, a six inch aura for mm. friendly Necrons vehicle units. If while they're within six inches, they get a six up feel no pain which mm -hmm. is good no, no, yeah and then the gloom prism aura mm -hmm. uh, while a friendly necrons unit is within six inches of the bearers so it's not just vehicles any friendly necrons unit uh, models in that unit have a feel no pain five plus ability against mortal wounds and psychic attacks so this, again it's it's okay like i think that's it about this entire like unit it's everything's yeah. okay nothing's like stand out great or anything like that so for the points comparing it against later on that will do mm. it's just not it's just not there for me yeah it's it's um it, it, on the raw, the raw stat block, like as as it stands, doesn't look great. But no. there's, there's a few more no. things to chuck in the mix. Let's um, cover them all before yeah. we're, 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 we're berated <laughs> <laughs> any further. Tell us about uh, its abilities, then. Certainly can. So, uh, yes, so it's got Deadly Demise 1. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Why, okay, whatevs. Yeah. Um, it's got, obviously, the reanimation protocols, being yeah. on the Necron unit. Um, this one, obviously, dropped off. in the uh, It's called the Canoptic Swarm. Mm. So, in your command phase, select one friendly Canoptic Scarab Swarm unit within six inches of this unit. One destroyed model is returned to that Canoptic Swarm unit, basically, yeah. from the spider. So. See, on uh, face value, that sounds quite a lot of, uh, good because I love yes. um, blowing my Scarabs up. Oh. Like, with You know, you can use their ability the to free, detonate them. Yeah, yeah free exactly. detonate. Uh, free mortal wounds. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. So so that doesn't look too bad. Nope. Unit-wise, you can have uh, one on their own or you can have two. That's it. Yeah. 
Um, they're 75 points each or 150 for two. Yes. So again, a little bit pricey. But well, that's, yeah. That's right. Once you get to that, that's that's when it kind of falls down. Because I think I'm, I'm a believer that there's a place for almost everything in your army if it's at the right points. Mm -hmm. And this, like you said, this doesn't feel like it's at the right points. What it does brings it? to the table, yeah. again, it's not quite there. Not quite there. Um, but again, we'll, we'll finish it off um, with the, the keywords. Again, mm. it's got it's a vehicle, it has the fly keyword, mm -hmm. it's the canoptic uh, spiders keyword as well. So, mm -hmm. and obviously the faction keyword of Necrons as well. Yeah. So, you know, standard stuff for that one. Um, but yeah, you know, at face value first, it's okay. Nothing stand out. It seems to be okay, but there's just better alternatives, I think. What about stratagems? Can we save it with synergies with stratagems? That's a good question. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. There's, there's a few stratagems out there, as we kind of know, but for the this unit, none of them, I think you've kind of nailed it before. It's like there's better alternatives. Yes. To use these stratagems on other, on other ones. Yeah. So we could spend a couple of minutes now or five minutes going through which stratagems you can use with this unit. But the reality is, I mean, each time we asked ourselves a question, would you spend the CP yeah. to, to do that to this unit, to yeah. either buff this unit or to um, or to save this unit or yeah. whatever? And, you know, in Awakened Dynasty, there's usable strats, but you're not getting full value out of them because in Awakened no. Dynasty, you need to, if your units, the strats are typically two tier. And if you're yeah. led, then you get both elements. And if you're not yeah. led by a character, you don't. Exactly. So yeah. they're all situational. I mean, yeah. if we'll quickly just talk about the reactive super team one. I, I briefly mentioned to you where, yeah, yeah. you know, if they move towards you, you can move um, six inches away. Yes. It's like, I, I could only ever see ever using that if, if I ever want to maybe defend a unit or move my unit onto an objective to secure it. Yes. But again, yeah, good point. What's when's that ever really going to happen? Yeah, well, I feel like we say this quite a lot, but it's very situational. Yeah. But that if, it's worth thinking about that if you do on this unit because mm -hmm. that could having something like that in your back pocket could change the game yeah. if you can move block something for a turn or get on an objective or whatever. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, um, that's, that's a good point. Yeah, but the rest of them, like the protocol, the hungry void, the quantum deflection. Yeah. I mean, quantum deflection, it does have the because you said it has a vehicle keyword, but why would you spend a CP to give it a four up in one? You know, and not, again, yeah. again, unless you were like, I need unless this unit to survive, yeah, you know, yeah. I need it there. Again, protocol sudden storm. Yeah. You know, again, maybe if you want to try and oh, what's it? Oh, sorry, the protocol, the, uh, the hungry void. Even sorry. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just not. It's just not good. It's just no, not worth no. it. I'll, I'll pop it on screen for people who want to read it. Pause the video, but we're not going to talk too much more about it. Yeah, um, fundamentally, <clears throat> um, while the, some of the strategies will work with this, and, and um, on paper they improve it, yeah. it's not worth the CP spend. <clears throat> exactly. So let's move on to something a bit more of a lighter touch, and mm. you know how best to play in this yes. unit, Dan. Yes. Do you want to maybe start off? I mean. Is there a best way of playing it? <laughs> if you're going to play it, then probably yeah. the, the, the probably the one of the best synergies is still with Scarabs. Mm. So it can make Scarab Swarms harder to shift because yeah. it brings a Scarab base back every yeah. command phase, as you mentioned before. That's its core ability. Yeah. Um, the, the spider costs 75 points. Scarab base is about 15 points. Yeah. So if it brings one back every turn, it's uh, got its points back. It, I suppose. It, has, I it, suppose. it just feels like a bit much to invest in protecting your scarabs. <laughs> it does, yeah. doesn't it? Like the scarabs are only really good for like, you know, I mean, they used to be good for doing actions, but mm. the scarabs can no longer do actions because oh, yeah, they're zero point. OC. Yeah. So really, they're just good to be annoying. Yeah. And do you really want us to, to get a support unit for a, a unit that is a bit annoying? Yeah. It's, it's not, just no, not but really yeah, there. No, a screen is there to screen and then die. You don't want to be yeah. investing extra points in, in it really, do you? Exactly, exactly. Keep and it I, as cheap as you can. Exactly. And I mean, the next one, you know, it's a vehicle support. You know, this this unit can give a, a six plus, uh, what's it, feel no pain, isn't it? Yes. Um, to the unit. But again, is it worth it? Yeah, I mean, a six plus is, um, isn't, uh, you know, it's, it's a t-shirt. In, in one, yeah. of, isn't it? Of, uh, yeah. Feel no pain, sorry, but it's yeah. So it's uh, no it's realistically, just not, it's not, not going to come up that often, is it? No, nah, no. Nah, um, I mean, if you compare that to like the reanimator, yeah, which is roughly about the same points ish. Oh yeah, that's like, a good point. Yeah, it just doesn't seem to be worth it because no. the, obviously the, the reanimate that affects more units than what this one does. Yeah, it so is, yes, it can affect more units, and it's, it has a more tangible benefit every yeah. turn, doesn't it? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, very good point, mate. Uh, and after the last one, the psychic defense. Yeah, psychic mortal wounds. So it gives you uh, it gives units within six uh, uh, five up field of pain against mortal wounds and psychic attacks, but. Um, I don't know. It's, it's. I mean, like, unless you were like, oh, I'm going to play a thousand suns. Yeah, yeah. Let's maybe bring a bunch of these. Yes. Um, but again, it's like typically when I make my list, number you, but I typically always make mine quite generic. So my list is, yeah. you know, regardless of which army I'm versing, I could go against any army. Yeah, I don't to, like list tailoring, really. Nah. I think it's a, I think it's a bit cheesy. It is. It is. It feels like you're, you're just going there to punish the player. Like, oh, you just play a thousand suns? Right. I'm going to just build against you. And it's yeah. like, well, it doesn't seem like fun to me. I think when, I think as, um, 
more inexperienced players, we all kind of do that. When you're getting in first starting in the game, you all build lists to play against each other. You've talked about this before in the past. Mm. We get into like a bubble meta. Yes. Yeah. Consciously or unconsciously, you end up building lists to try and counter what your friends do. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but generally speaking, you shouldn't do it. No. no. Um, good. Okay. And I, and I think... <laughs> I think it's a short segment, but yeah. that's kind of it, right? That's all I can think of for how best yeah. to play the unit. Yeah. Um, what about how best to fight against it then, Dan? I mean, the first point I put on there is ignore it because it's not very good. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's you just going to just not, like yeah. throw a tissue paper at you from it, distance, it, it, isn't it? Yeah, it's unlikely. I mean, unless you were playing like a horde army um, where it, it's it's guns two two d six with low eight with no AP is still going to hurt yeah. you. Otherwise, it's you know you don't need to worry about it. really. Nah, not really. Yeah, ignore it. Um, yeah. I mean, on the flip side. Should it? <laughs> you yeah, know? yeah, it's not that you know tough. It'll go down to a lot of small arms fire. Yeah, um, yeah, it and it just doesn't seem to have any inbuilt defenses, apart from it being a little bit tough. Like, yeah, yeah, you're it. right. But once you get past that, then you're golden. Yeah, I mean, if you didn't, if only if you didn't have anything else to shoot at, like yeah. at shoot. But if you had, um, if you had last cannon type weapons yeah. um, going spare, then a couple of those will pop it off. Pop it off. Yeah. Yeah. This to me, I, on, I mean. If I again, if I was playing against it, I would honestly save this unit until you pull, like, bring it down because it's a vehicle. Oh, clever! So yeah, you will get points for that. So if you see it in the open, don't even waste your time. It's yeah. not going to do much for you. It's got two OCs, so it's probably not going to be quite good on the objective at no. all. No. So just wait for you to get bring it down, and then just easy points. Genius, I like it. Yeah. Um, uh, charge it. <laughs> you know, it's just like yeah. it's just do anything against it. Yeah. Really, you know. Well, that's it. I mean, even you know. Anything that's like strength four or um, four to six is hit is wounding it on five. So you put enough attacks in there, you'll kill it. Yeah, and then any anything, um, you know, all it would say is you've got to be careful. You're going, you've got to make sure you're going to take it down because, as we've just talked about, it can actually hit you back quite hard. It, it can. will do some damage. It can, but yeah. probably not enough to scare you that much. No, so, no. like, just take it out and you know, a side thought, really. But yeah, it, it's not. It's it's not. It's not um, got the resilience against shooting or melee. Nah. If you get the drop on it, it's going to go. It's just going to drop. Yeah. 100%. 100%. Well, I think they're the best way to fight against it because literally you can just do anything against this unit. That's what's going to do the trick. Um, it's not going to make you break a sweat working out no. how to get rid of it, is it? No, <laughs> nah, not at all. No. Um, so maybe a little, little, little segment. Why don't we use this unit, Dan? Yes, yes. I mean, particularly when we've just uh, sung its praises for uh, 10 minutes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, that's true. Even in Canoptic Court, which is yeah. where this, obviously, it's got the Canoptic keyword. Um, yeah. So the strat synergize, et cetera. But I'd rather spend the points on battle line, particularly yeah. going into Pariah Nexus. Mm. Would you take, you know, I'd rather spend those points on Immortals or whatever than, yeah. than putting these units in? Five Immortals, that's 10 OC on your, mm-hmm. on your mm-hmm. home field objective, whereas you, you spend the same amount of points for him because that's what he could be used for. Home, yeah. home field objective, yeah. you know, holding back um, the back line, but Immortals are better. Yeah, they've I got, think so. They've got longer range. And, more, and they just give you that flexibility to do, yeah. to do some of those battle line point scoring things yeah. that, uh, that come up in, in uh, prior Nexus now. 100%. Yeah. Aye, exactly, exactly. And um, for me, it's just because, like, I think you nailed it before uh, off camera, but the scarabs that go with, the, with this guy, the scarabs move 10 inches. Yeah. And if you were listening, these guys move five. So <laughs> the, the unit that they're designed to, to buff and to help, That's they so move cool. so much more faster uh, and they can just get away from them. So, yeah. I mean, uh, well, you don't want to hold these guys back. The, the spider sense. guns don't have assault. So if, yeah. you, if you're trying to keep up with the with the scarabs, you have to sacrifice your shooting to roll in advance. And even but, then, if you don't roll well, yeah. you're still getting left behind. What's the point? Yeah, it's... it's um, just... We've, we've very... Uh, frequently sing the praises of the Necron Codex because it's yeah. really good. But this is a this is an anomaly, but it's yeah. this is an example of pretty poor writing. It, it, it sucks because I really like these units. I think yeah. they're class law wise and they're just kind of like yeah. they're, just, they're just in the kind of tombs kind of waiting and repairing stuff. Mm. I love the, the the atmosphere of them. But yeah I really uh, like the models just, as well. Yeah, really good, but just letting down with their codex. Yeah. I think and, and I think as we talked about the I mean they're not the kind of Jack of all trades, master of none. The shooting's a bit mid, the yeah. melee's very swingy. Yeah. Um well well, it's just you know you just don't probably just don't get enough attacks to punch something that hard. Yeah. Um. And buffing scarabs was difficult because of the movement, and yes. now it's absolutely pointless for the reasons you've just outlined in terms of zero OC and actions. Well, yeah, zero OC. There's just yeah. there's just not no point. So you're not going to see scarabs on the table very much anymore, and therefore in the rare occasions you were probably going to see yeah. spiders, you're not now either. Yeah. Um, uh, the only time the only thing that would really benefit this if that if the since those aren't going to be used and they can't do actions, mm. they may as well just change this guy to be like, oh, this guy spawns a squad of those. That would be that, really interesting. Like, like that, um, that would be a big swing yeah, difference because like, then it's like, yeah. oh, you're making a unit to be annoying. 
fine. He could then home you, hold your backfield. Yeah. Every turn, he could spit out those. Spit out some that, scarabs, That then yeah. just zone out. So the more you they leave it, oh, by brilliant. turn three, they just kind of zone out. Yeah. I would like to see that. Yeah, that would make be sense interesting. To me. Considering if you flip the model over, inside there, there's all the scarabs. <laughs> all the scarabs are sitting inside there. Yeah, so, it's really, the model itself is really cool. And in, mm -hmm. it, weirdly, that's probably the most interesting bit of the model. And it's, yeah. hidden, it's hidden. <laughs> I've just spoiled it for you. I'm <laughs> sorry. Don't, yeah. don't, don't bother buying it. Uh, um, the, the attention to detail in hidden corners of GW models in the 2000s was wild. Yeah. Like, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was really good. But yeah, overall, I think we can, it's, um, if you haven't got the gist already, um, we, we can't recommend this unit to you. Sorry. Uh, I was saying to Jack off camera that uh, I'm going to do a terrible dad joke here, but this, uh, this, oh, yeah. this spider has, this has made me um, more sad than any other spider since the ending of Charlotte's Web. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it's depressing. <laughs> so yeah. Um, Don't watch it. <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah. It uh, makes all the kids cry. <laughs> and so does this. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, but yeah, I mean, are we missing a trick? Uh, let us know in the yeah, comments if there's, uh, if there's something really obvious we're missing here, but we can't, you know, we've, we've racked our brains over this one, no, haven't we? Yeah, it's not on my list, unfortunately. No, and, and we'd love to love to run them again. We both own them and uh, spent time painting them, so yeah. bring them back, GW. Please. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, let us know in the comments how uh, you use them if you, if you do or why you don't use them, what you think is a better alternative. And thank you as always for watching. Thank you.